Hi everyone, it's Farmer Georgie here and as you can see I'm just up with our cloud rats here and this is because I've got some brilliant news. So in this little box here with mum and dad we actually have a brand new little baby. So at the moment uh, he or she, because we don't know yet, is about three weeks old now and we suspect it's probably going to be another week or so before it actually starts making any proper attempts to come out of that box. We've looked back on our notes for Judah, our previous baby, and he came out of the box roughly about four weeks old, so that's why we can make that prediction for this one. But it has been popping its head out of the box, just having a little look at the, you know, the new world around him. So if you do come and visit, you can see probably towards the end of the day having a little look whilst both the parents have left the box to go and grab some food. So the parents are still very protective, particularly mum. This is uh, Manila here, she is the mum. And she does keep going and taking food back and forwards as she doesn't want to spend too much time away from this box because she is very still protective of the little pup that we do have in here. It just uh, drinks milk off her for the moment, but she takes her own food back just so she can make sure while she's eating she is sat with the baby. And she's very, very protective. If we get too close in general, she will come and uh, come towards us and give us a little slap as a little bit of a warning just to keep away, don't you? So these guys are probably one of our more uh, popular animals that we have up here in the mammal house and it's easy to see why they're very very cute. They're very different, obviously they are a rat but they don't really look too much like the ones that we normally think of. They're very large, very fluffy and as I say very very cute so they are very very popular. These guys in the wild they do come from the Philippines, they are arboreal and nocturnal which means they live very very high up and they only come out at night so actually from the wild we don't know too much about them so most of the stuff that we do know is actually from captivity from animals just like like ours. So I do hope you all uh, come and have a little visit and have a look for our baby. As I say it will probably be another week or so before it actually comes out fully from the box and starts exploring the enclosure and that will be when we can get a chance at trying to sex it because the easiest way we can do that is by waiting for it to climb up above us then we can have a little look and see what's going on underneath the tail. It means it's not as intrusive for the little baby we don't have to grab it it just means we can have a little look but we do just have to wait so it can get on perhaps one of these branches this is how we sex judo it was up here above us so we'll just do exactly the same with this one but yeah we love having them as i say popular with the public but very very popular with us as their keepers as well and we do hope you enjoy them just as much as we do all right so thank you very much for listening and i'll see you all again very soon Bye bye